Well, it is good to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. Would you like to say again that we're glad to see Justin here this morning? And Amen. Uh, it's been going for quite a while, and I'm sure it's been uh, in some rough places and some tough times. But you know, the Lord carried him through them, and uh, uh, he needs to uh, realize that very much so. We want to study some this morning in the book of Colossians. In uh, verse three, uh, chapter three, and verse twelve, we will be reading from. Colossians three twelve, for uh, Colossians three twelve says, "Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved vows of mercy, mm -hmm. kindness." Humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. And you know, when he said, I don't know why he used this uh, in, in, in the way he did, but about the vows, he's talking about the heart, mm -hmm. and he's saying that uh, this is where all the uh, everything comes from is from the heart, mm -hmm. and, and this is some of the things that he's that uh, he's writing about here with the the mercies and the kindness and the humbleness. Uh, and the meekness and the long suffering. These were some of the things this morning that we need to consider every time that we wake up of the morning, every time that we get out and as we move around through uh, the, the people and everything, we need to show these things and, and, and present them as we are trying to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And Amen. If, you, if you try these things, uh, you'll find out that they'll work because I know that people love mercy because if they if they if they knew anything about being saved mm -hmm. if they knew anything about living for the lord they would understand what mercy is mercy Amen. mercy is a, one of the the greatest things that i can think of and that is that god had enough mercy on us and enough love for us that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to this, this world and to uh, die on the cross of Calvary for us. And what a wonderful, wonderful thing. And, and I don't say it in the wrong way, but what a wonderful thing it was. Amen. Because it had not been for that, there wouldn't have been no mercy. There wouldn't have been anything else. But Jesus Christ came and died on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. Amen. And, and we might be saved. And he says here, you put... Put on, therefore, these as the elect. And, and, and we, we know this morning the elect are the ones that are chosen of God. And this Amen. is something we need to have within us all the time. And when, when the tongue wants to come out and, and say things like James says, it's an unruly thing. Mm -hmm. Listen, we need to bite that tongue and hold on that thing. And say, get thee behind me, Satan. Because, listen, we as God's people need to have this meekness and long suffering mm -hmm. towards one another because we never know for sure who we're uh, uh, around or all but what it will mean and what a what a show that we can have for someone uh, to represent the lord jesus christ so he says in verse 13 forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any so here, along with this beloved vows of mercy and kindness, forbearing. And, you know, uh, as this word means to try to understand uh, uh, and, and pray for them if, if things uh, seem in the wrong way towards you, uh, and you, you're, you're to accept the things that are, that are there and just pray for that person. Amen. For them people. And uh, he says, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Now, I know this morning that uh, sometimes that I say things and it don't sound right. And I, I do, don't, don't do it because I don't love a person. I'm just in a, a habit of doing things that I shouldn't say. But anyway, uh, I know there's been a lot of times that I've seen things that people have prayed for me and said, hey, you know, he, he didn't mean anything by it. And, uh, and prayed for me and, and 
and forgive me of these mm -hmm. things. And this is what I need. I need this, and you need this, and I need to do it, and you need to do it. And we all need to uh, for, to forbear one another as uh, as we go, because listen, people are <laughs> people are dealing with flesh. Amen. And listen, people, flesh is unruly. Amen. And it's a sinful thing, and it's hard to control. And so when you when somebody may may uh, uh, say something to you that's not right, just remember what they're dealing with. Because listen, you're dealing with the same thing. That's it. And when it goes when it comes to you, it goes. Uh, goes from you too also because listen I'm not perfect you're not perfect none of us is perfect Amen. in the flesh and so we we have this sin to put up with in our flesh and so we need to forbear and to forgive one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as Christ forgave you so also do you and he's saying this morning you do you follow the example that Jesus Christ uh, set when he said, uh, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And listen, that covered me and you. Amen. And, 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 for, and, and every person that was ever died for, the Lord died for, listen, that covered them all. And so uh, we need to we need to put ourselves in, in the position that uh, we can kind of understand a little bit about what Jesus is asking us here to do and how what he went through for for us so he says here remember uh, remember your brethren and uh, and uh, remember the things that are that are going on in our lives a lot of times we have brothers and sisters in the church that won't say anything about the problems and the heartaches and all this they're having but you can still remember them Amen. You can bow your head to God and ask Him through the name of Jesus Christ to help those those brothers and sisters because it's your duty and it's my duty to pray for one another. Amen. And that way it keeps everything in harmony and the Lord can come in through the Holy Spirit and work through the, the church and, and you'll see smiles on people's face. You'll understand uh, how more happy they, they you see how more happy they are and so remember your brothers and sisters Amen. in Christ now verse 14 says and above all these things put on charity or love which is the bond of perfectness now you know what a bond is and I use it uh, an example of this when you're laying brick or block or something like that and they put a little block and they smear this concrete on there or this mortar and they stick it in there and when it gets hard it 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 it, it makes it the bond there so much more well if it wasn't for the bond they fall over right but listen that bond holds me and you together and and it's nothing but love and Amen. I, I have i have a love in my heart for my brothers and sisters and that's the thing that we all should practice this morning is uh, uh, having that bond because uh, again when you have this bond you get back to this thing of forgiveness and, and, and love and so this is this is a great thing uh, and, it, and it, it which is the bond of perfections uh, uh, and and this this is this is a thing that is a must in a church. It's the must in a family, mm -hmm. and it's a must if you want to have fellowship one with another. And listen, you know when uh, when when people when people get out here and talk about this one and talk about that one and say this about that one say that and and criticize listen the bond has been broken mm -hmm. and there's where the devil really likes to do his work and he'll get in there and and do these things and so remember this thing with 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 this bond and try to bond with everyone and and have love toward one Amen. Another. and verse 15 says and let the peace of God rule in your heart. And the peace of God is the assurance, the assurance through the Holy Spirit that you have been saved. I, I believe this, and listen, I believe it more and more every time it happens to me. I get down, I get out, 
and the Holy Spirit will carry me right back, right back to that old driveway where I was walking up that night to my house. And when I when I, I had my experience with the Lord, when He spoke to my soul, listen, He brings it back. He don't bring nothing else back. And I've been through I've been through a lot of accidents. I've been through a lot of uh, hurts and things like this. And He don't say, well, that's that's the reason I did. But listen, it's because of mercy. Amen. And that night that he came to me, he spoke to my soul, and I was saved uh, that night. And so here he says, this is the peace of God, and it rules in your heart, so to, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. And so this morning, uh, the bond is there, uh, the uh, calling is there. And you're to be thankful for these things. Amen. It's it's very <clears throat> it's very comforting to me and very soothing, and it should be to everyone that knows the Lord and has been saved. It's very, it's very comforting to know. Hey, if I don't wake up in the morning, or if I don't if I don't if I don't make it out the door today, listen, I know that I'm going to be with the Lord. Amen. Amen. And it's it's it should be it should be shouting shouting ground. Amen. So here we see. Verse 16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And that don't mean just uh, uh, nothing but what it says, richly. And that means uh, richly. Mm -hmm. I can't say it to nothing else, but listen, you know how they used to, how they say cream is so much richer than milk? Well, that's an example. Listen, we, we need to have that richly love in our hearts. And so he says here, let it dwell richly, you dwell in you richly in all wisdom and understanding and, and, and seeking the leadership of the Lord. And listen, here's this Bible uh, for your wisdom. It comes from through the word of God. And so this means to this morning to me that you need to study and to show yourself approved Amen. through this thing. So. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in song, psalms and in hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And Amen. this morning, you know, we, we always try to sing three songs uh, to start the, so the psalm service off, and a lot of people don't, they don't do it. Uh, a lot of churches, they get up and sing one song, and that's it. But, you know, uh, if one is... If one's pretty good, then two would be a little better. Three is better. Amen. And I mean, we could. That's what they say. Sing songs of, of hymns and praise to, and and, and it'll, 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 it'll encourage one another. So he says here, and you got to sing it in a certain way because it says here, singing with grace in your heart uh, to the Lord. And if you uh, if you if you if when you feel that presence of the Holy Spirit, you know, hey. We're in tune, mm -hmm. and so uh, it's it don't happen every morning, but sometimes when we're singing a song, it seems like the Holy Spirit just comes in and just I mean just floods our hearts. So uh, that's singing with uh, praise and grace in your heart. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. And so this morning, this is. This is a very important verse here when he says, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And so many times this morning, people, we jump the gun and we do things and uh, we don't never ask the leadership of the Lord or nothing like that. And listen, we need to, we need to, uh, Ask him about things. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, not, not every time you go get a drink of water, but hey, I try to thank the Lord for a drink of water. Right. Because listen, uh, it, it'd, be a, it'd be bad if I was out in the desert. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this morning, uh, and when I, when I try to, I try to, to thank the Lord for my food and for my, my home that I live in, for the night's nice rest, for all of these things. And that's what he says, whatever you do, do it uh, uh, in, in word or deed. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. And and he is the one that you can give thanks to. He's not the one. He's not the 
uh, one that has uh, the thing that you're a lot of people and, and it's the flesh uh, hey they look forward to that dollar mm. but listen this morning we need to give thanks to God Amen. and the Father uh, and, and by the Father so uh, remember these things because hey God expects you to uh, reverence him Amen. I mean he's a jealous God people and uh, when, when, when you go about and, and, and take all of his blessings and never turn your head up, you know, uh, to thank him. And, you know, I, it's, it's, I, I heard an example of this one time, and you can take it for what it's worth. Uh, a hog, when he's eating acorns, he never does raise his head up and look on the tree mm -hmm. to, to, to praise the tree. And that's something this morning that we as God's people need to do more than what we do, I know. And that is to praise him for what he's doing for us. Amen. Because listen, this is a this is a this is a place here, I mean, hey, uh, the Lord's blessing. Mm -hmm. And you, you 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 turn your television on, you turn your, all this stuff on radio. And you listen to what all is going on and, and people, the suffering and all that. Listen, we've got it made and we just need to thank the Lord for it and say, hey, Father, I thank you for it because I know where it comes from and you know where it comes from. And listen, it don't come from the world because uh, the world won't put things out like that. Amen. So again here, we get on with this. And uh, in verse 18, Let's see. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands Amen. as it is fit in the Lord. And husbands, love your wives Amen. and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things. For this is the will, the well pleasing unto the Lord. It's well pleasing unto the Lord. And Father, provoke not your children to anger, lest Amen. they be discouraged and servants obey in all things your master according to the flesh not with eye service as man pleasers but in singleness of heart fearing god and if whatsoever you do do it heartily as to the lord amen and not unto men knowing that the lord he shall receive knowing knowing that the lord ye shall receive the rewards of the in inheritance for ye serve the Lord. And so he's promising us something here this morning. If we'll do these things, love our wife, love our love the wives, love their husband and the children. Uh, it gives the children an example to obey them and to uh, not provoke them sometimes when uh, uh, things are not like they should be. And so uh, even to the servants, it tells, something, it tells them to do that. But now I want to read something to you this morning. Uh, and I believe it's in uh, Matthew. Let me see. <clears throat> no, it's it's, uh, it's Luke. Turn to Luke. Math, uh, come on. Luke uh, six. Luke six. And verse thirty. Luke six and verse thirty. Down something, but anyway, the scripture that I was wanting to, I was looking at for, is that give to every man that asketh, and to him that him that taketh away, ask him not uh, of, about uh, before it back. And I, I thought I had Mark and Luke six, Luke six thirty, Luke six thirty. Well, that's what I thought. Uh, maybe my Bible is. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I was looking at something else. Good. All right. Verse 30 says, Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask him not again. Now this 
you know, I, I got to wondering about this, and, and, and you know, uh, though, those that borrow from them, uh, I think that pertains to that, and those that uh, take them by force or by just taking them, picking them up and carrying them off. But he says, give to every man that asketh of thee, and that's something this morning that we need to really do because so many times, and I, I had a thing to happen to me here just a while back, uh, out there in Kroger's one day, there was a guy come up to me and he said, uh, uh, I'm a veteran and I did this and I did that. He said, can you give me, uh, help me buy something? And I give him some money uh, and, and I'm not taking no credit for that. But listen, about two weeks later, the same guy come up to me again. And he asked me again if I could give him some money. And I said, I said, I said no. Uh, because I'd done seen him, and, and, and you know, that, but I regretted that, I regretted it, because, listen, if he was lying to me or what, he asked me to help him, and I should have done it, but I didn't do it, and, and uh, you know, that's something this morning that you have to be very careful with. If, if someone asks you for something or another, you need to explain why you can't help them or ask them something else or do something and, and not say no. Because, uh, you know, that's what he says here in verse 30, Give to every man that asketh of thee, and to him that taketh away thy goods, ask him not again. Uh, and, as, and, and as you would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. And I was, when I was reading this, you know, I think, I think if I was out there in, in need and I come up to someone and ask them for uh, uh, 50 cents to buy a hamburger or a dollar to buy something or another, listen, and they, and they wouldn't give it to me, uh, listen, that's the, wrong, that's the wrong way to be. Uh, if I'm in need and I ask somebody, they should, they should, they should do it, honoring God. But listen, so many times we have a hard heart Mm -hmm. So many times we say, that old rascal, he's just out here bumming. And you know, that's the heart for you. That's the soul. That's the, uh, the flesh for you. And they don't, they don't like, I mean, God don't like this. Uh, if nothing else, if nothing else, you say, you can say, friend, it's like Peter and John was when they were going up to the temple. Hey, he's asking them for arms. He says, gold and silver have I none. But such as I have, give I you. And he, he healed the man. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe I could have I could have I helped the man the last time he come up to me and say, Hey, if uh, would you like to have prayer? And uh, I ask, pray for your condition that you might get better. And and if I don't want to give you something, I mean it would have been better uh, than than to just say no. But I did it, and I'm sorry of it. But anyway, he says for verse thirty two. For if you love them which love you, what thanks have ye? For sinners also love those that love themselves. And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thanks have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And, uh, and, and you know, we know that this morning that a lot of times people uh, deal and, 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 and help people because they want to make a show. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times, and, and, and they don't know the Lord, they, and, and a lot of times people are just soft, more soft-hearted and more giving than others are. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I mean, you know, and, and, and it, it's, it's, it's bad to have a, a stingy heart. But anyway, uh, so many people do. But he says here, he's warning us against this. And if you lend to them of whom you hope to receive, what thanks have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners and to receive as much again. Of course, here they're getting their interest, you know, so, uh, but that's what, what they're doing. But love ye your enemies and do good and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall have, and ye shall be the children of the highest. And so, again, this morning, when, when the opportunity comes, when someone asks you for something like this and, and asks a favor of it, listen, you need to try, you need to try to help them in some way, uh, because uh, uh, you could be in the same way. Because Amen. you was one time. Amen. You was one time. And listen, 
he gave more than an alms. He gave his life. Right. And we, and, and, and old sinner flesh as we are, we don't have that in our, in our hearts, a lot, in our mind a lot of times, and we want to put everything that we have in our pockets and keep it. But listen, we need to think about these things when we're out and and uh, and God will put things in your pathway to to uh, encourage you, mm -hmm. and He'll He'll have people come to you, and uh, He'll 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 let you be tried sometimes. So uh, here again, I wanted to read that for you, and then in Matthew. Matthew 10, I'm going to go back over to Matthew 10, just a minute, and read a few more verses here, and I'll be through. Matthew 10, verse 42. It says, And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, now they're not, he's not saying to reach in your pocket and give them a hundred dollars. He's not saying you can uh, take them down and feed them a meal. He's not saying that you can buy them new clothes and all this, but he brings it down to one cup of water. Just one cup of water because, listen, he's saying to me, he's saying this, hey, I don't miss anything that you do with a mm -hmm. hard love. If it's a cup of cold water, uh, and he says, uh, here of cold water only in the name of a disciple. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. And so these things that I've wrote, written to you, I've read to you, and these things that, uh, uh, they, 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 they're important. Uh, they're important for this fact. Okay. Listen, you can have a blessing you can have a blessing every day. Mm -hmm. If you'll if you'll follow these instructions that God has put in this word, you can have a blessing every day. And it may not be that you can give people nothing. It may not be that you can help somebody, but listen, you can have a satisfied mind and a satisfied heart when you lay down and go to bed at night and you can have a good night's rest. And uh, you can pray to the Lord with a with a with a clear mind and heart and uh and thank you for all his blessings because uh, we don't we don't need to be we don't need to be like that uh, uh, with, with, uh, with, with our loved ones our, our, our enemies as far as that goes because listen he says Lynn never expected it back and uh, you know if, uh, if if I have if I if I've got someone that's that's uh, been even stealing from me uh, or you know and I and I. And I see it, I, I'm not to, to carry him to the jail and, or carry him before the law or something like this. But listen, I need to pray for him. Amen. Because I know one day he's going to be, he's going to be standing before God. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to be judged for these things. But listen, if I fail to pray for him, uh, it's it's going to be on my fault too. So, you know, when we, when we, when we let this old body interfere with us serving the Lord, we're losing blessings. Mm -hmm. That's all it is to it. We're losing blessings. So this morning, I hope that something of this has been read to you that, that will help you a little bit. I, you, you might be, uh, you might be uh, in, in contact with someone today. You never know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, these things will, will help you if you'll try to remember them. Thank you all so much. Amen.